Hello friends, welcome back to the series of creating shadows in Photoshop for images and car souls. This is your friend Gaurav Ahuja. In last video, we sum up with this shadow which you can see on screen. Today we are going to create another shadow in the same series which is shadow number 5. Yeah, it is kind of giving a look of uh, beveled paper. So let's start creating this. For this, I'm having an image which is this hidden. Yeah, uh, let me uh, make it in front. Yeah, here it is. So for this, I'm just gonna. Uh, firstly, I'm just gonna take the uh, effects applied on layer one, which is the image. So I'm just copy layer style and going to paste this layer style on the layer 5 which is the image if you want to see how i created this layer effects you can visit the first part of the series so that you will be able to get the idea of creating this kind of soft shadow on the edges of the photo of a photograph sorry for my mistake so I'm just gonna hide uh, this photograph and the shadow which we created last uh, now uh, we are going to create another shadow let's have a look the shadow number five so for this I'm just gonna create firstly uh, let me create some place for the shadow uh, here is the uh, box uh, which we're gonna create so all dull and fill my mistake it is on the same layer which the image is so control Z and create a new layer then fill it with the color yes here it is so uh, I'm just gonna add a filter which will give it a blur look which is uh, same as the last gizzen blur yeah here it is so I'm not. I'm uh, this time. I'm not gonna use a high value for the blur. It is gonna be a soft value. Yes, it is. And now I'm gonna apply one more blur, which is motion blur. And again, same. I'm not gonna give a higher value to the blur itself. Yes, I think this is fine. Or uh, five will be fine yeah here it is or again this is for the horizontal and again for the vertical motion blur just a second motion blur and uh, give it a angle of 90 degree yes done approx done and uh, uh, the noise add noise bit noisy uniform will look good yes so uh, it is done now I can just put this underneath the image yes now I can see uh, let me align it properly according to the image yes here it is one second yes here it is so I'm just now gonna apply a wrap on the same and just make it bit out from the back of the image now it will give you the look of beveled paper now we can link the both of the images and uh, now we can apply the color whatever is the theme of uh, our website or shadows yes it is fine here we got it 